Hi everybody, I'm really excited to share with you that I've bought my first power hydraulic top link and I'd like to show you how I'm going to install it today on my John Deere 2038. I've got everything I need, the top links, some hydraulic hoses, and some good instructions. So if you'd like to see how we install that on the tractor, join me right now on Today in Iowa. Well, hi everybody, Bill here from Today in Iowa. You know, after having my rear SCVs installed, I purchased a uh, power top link. Uh, I installed it, and then I promptly damaged it within probably two weeks. There you can see I, I bent that uh, line there. And then I redesigned it, and I think I have a better product now after going through this, and I'd like to share that with you today. Here's a quick overview of what the new attachment looks like. You'll notice that power beyond connection is gone and replaced by these. I remember the top connections are for the top link and the bottom ones, the B, are for the backhoe. I also wanted to point out there's the wheel spacer spacers that I put on when I bought the tractor. Never regretted that. Here's a look at the control panel. The lever right there by the arrow, that lowers and raises the arms. In this case, it's the quick attach. That lever right there, that's the one that is going to control the top link. And this lever controls constant hydraulic uh, supply when used with this pump switch back to my backhoe. There's an overview of the entire panel put in. It's all one piece, and I think they did a real nice job. Very happy with that install. Now let's uh, move on to putting the uh, top link in. First of all, I lowered the uh, rear attachment there, and I'm going to take off the manual top link. Now, let's stop the video here for a minute. I want to explain something. When I ordered the new top link from agrestoreusa.com, and I'll put a link down below, they wanted to know the shortest length of the existing top length and the longest length. So I measured those and got that information to them. Then they recommended a slightly longer top length to accommodate the longer range that I was now going to have with that hydraulic top length. Uh, that company is excellent to work with, and uh, I trusted them for the uh, best top link for my tractor, and they did a terrific job. So I really recommend you take a look at those folks. All right, with the new top link installed, I removed one uh, plug already. Now I was going to show you what it looked like uh, removing the plug. There it is. Then there's a little rubber O-ring there. It looks like it's kind of painted on. So just give it a little pull, and it'll come right off, and you're ready to go. Everything was supplied that I need. All the hydraulic hoses and connections was all in this kit. So it was perfect uh, being I was a first time installer of this. So since this was my first time installing it, I'm going to leave some mistakes in here that I did so you can learn uh, with me. Uh, here I am putting on the connections on the uh, top length that are going to go to the hose and the hose to the tractor. And I'm going to leave it in here, and I'll show you the point in, when it, uh, in which a vein opened up my head, and I figured out I'm doing this wrong. In the meantime, I'd like to shout out to some viewers that took some time to say hello. I'd like to say hi to Tim over in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Tim said that city is the home of the third most popular groundhog. Kevin, Leesport, Pennsylvania, hello. The red-headed housewife over in Salem, Virginia, had some very kind comments. Thank you very much. Corey's up in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Steve's in Sherwood, Illinois. That's just east of Joliet. I always think of the uh, Blues Brothers when I think of Joliet, uh, Illinois. Hugh from Plant City, Florida checked in. Brent from uh, Guildsboro, North Carolina. That's near uh, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, I believe. And John Buford, uh, North Carolina. And Tom and his wife are checked in from Greenville, Tennessee. All right, you may see the uh, mistake already. Uh, but what I'm trying to show you here in the video is I'm trying to mount those hydraulic hoses on the top and not go underneath there and create a chafing situation. So I'm being careful to put them on top. Now look, let's get right to the point. You see that right angle there? I put it at the farthest point back. It probably should have been in the front, don't you agree? Then that will go over top of the other one. And let's get to that right now. Here's the moment of extreme clarity that I had when I realized the shorter stud should go in the rear so the front one, taller, can go up and over that shorter stud there, that shorter piece. There you go. So that seemed to correct everything. The, uh, they come with copper washers. 
So the instructions uh, advise not to use Teflon tape and recommended 22 pounds of torque on those connections. I was real happy now after we got this. The hoses seemed to lay where they needed to be and very happy. So let's go ahead and get things started. All right, what I'm gonna do now is look for uh, leaks and collision points. Uh, Ty out in California told me, take that S-shaped hanging bracket up there that you can see, take that off. That could collide with that joint right there. So I've gotta remember and do that. I did find a couple leaks and did tighten those up a little bit and those went away. And there's that S bracket I was referring to. I've got to remember and take that off. And I'm just watching for the travel path of the hoses and the hardware there. Nothing seems to be uh, in conflict, so I thought this is good. The next thing I wanted to do is check the direction of the flow. Uh, now, I wasn't surprised to see that piston jerk like it did the first time because I thought, well, there's some void in there possibly from hydraulic fluid, and that went away real quick. I exercised it a few times, it went away. But what I, did, what I discovered was the lever's going the opposite way. Can you look behind there and see the uh, quick attachment? It's going away and it's going in. It's opposite that I want for my operation. Well, that's an easy fix. Just switch the hoses. And after I got the hoses uh, switched, I put a, uh, a mark on the right hose to match the right top uh, female part, and I won't have that mistake again. In fact, take a look. When I got it hooked up, I think the hoses look even neater. The, the right loop is on the right side and the left's on the left, so that turned out pretty well. Now watch my hands. I'm uh, controlling that lever, and this is what I was trying to achieve. Back being tilt back and forward, tilt forward. So that's terrific. It's all installed now, and I couldn't be happier. This turned out very well. One more check for leaks. Check the hydraulic hoses. Make sure everything uh, is uh, not binding or hitting anything. All right, one final look at the project. It looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Well, let's take it out and put a yard in for a buddy of mine, and I think this is where I damaged it. Look at, here we go, there. Look at how high I pull it up. And I think I struck something right there with that uh, top link. It collided with something fixed on the tractor. Well, let's go back to the shop and I'll show you what I did. I bent that hydraulic line right there. This uh, line is bent and it hit right there where my fingers are, are, are on that 90 degree uh, turn there on that hydraulic line. Well, let's go ahead and try to recreate the, uh, the accident here where it hit. Can you get in there and see that mark? Let's see, there's a mark right there. And that come up and hit this. Could have hit that. But I think it hit right here. Remember what Ty told me about taking that hanging bracket off? Well, there, it's gone, never to be seen again. <laughs> Should have listened to him there. But now I've got another problem. It's still hit here. See. Now that's gone. There's other places I can hit. Notice I used the middle hole, the middle hole for this one. All right, in honor of your time, let me speed this up. I'm fiddling around with this, trying to figure out, can I turn it upside down? Where can I put it where it won't collide? And no matter what I did, there was always something there it was going to collide with. And then I turned it around, and only after calling the manufacturer, he said, no, don't put that piston at the tractor end. Leave the welded side at the tractor. I'm not an engineer, but I trust this guy's opinion. So this isn't going to work. But we're getting real close. <clears throat> There's nothing here to hit. Everything back here is in the back. <clears throat> Plus it's pointing the right direction. The yeah. hoses are. Well, through a collaboration of ideas and speaking to several people, including the uh, AgriStore uh, USA, uh, we came up with this solution. The store re reconfirmed to keep that welded piece at the tractor and the moving part to the rear there towards the quick attach so that's what we did then we flipped the hydraulic connection at the top of the link there and moved it further away from the tractor so it wouldn't collide with anything and you I still have to be aware of how I am lifting that but take a look at this up down I'm just not getting close to anything am I so I think this is a terrific uh, result of uh, speaking with several people and getting a lot of different ideas on it 
What a great solution. I can't wait to get this out. And look at the angle I can put on this uh, top link. I, I can't imagine wanting to get anything that steep. So real excited. Uh, consider uh, talking to Agristore. The, they're not a sponsor for this video, but just good customer service to me, and I'm happy to recommend them. Well, as we uh, start wrapping this uh, episode up, I wanted to do a shout out to uh, Motor Zeet, or is it Motor Viet? Uh, that Z, is that pronounced with a V? Over in Bavaria, Germany. Thanks for saying hello. And uh, Mr. Goodwrench in Annapolis Royale in Nova Scotia, Canada. Hey, and I'd like to take time and remind you that I do keep a pushpin map when you do check in from the United States and Canada. You get a flag there in the city you report in from. For instance, Rob said hello from Johnstown, Ohio. Big Buck Mowers down in Bonham, Texas. Rodney said hi from Sterling, Illinois. The Horlings checked in from Salem, Oregon. And Gordy from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. And I can't forget Florida Back Road in Florida, Florida. Hey, that's going to wrap this episode up. Be kind to each other. Consider subscribing. You all have a great month. We'll talk to you soon. So long, everybody.